Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can set up your Unity build to upload to the Google Play Store. Yesterday I was trying to upload my first testing build to my Google Play console here, and it was not as easy as I thought, so I figured I'd do a little quick video and show you how you can set up your build easily to get it uploaded on the first try. So in Unity here, we'll go to our build settings, and obviously you want to make sure you're building for Android. Uh, this is all good here, and then I choose to build to an app bundle. I think you can build to APKs too, but for this it bundles different APKs together, a 32-bit and a 64-bit. It reduces file size a little bit, I think. You can also create your symbols.zip here. Uh, I think that's used for debugging, but it's not necessary. You'll get a warning when you upload to Google Play saying you're missing this if you don't have it, but it'll still let you upload it without. And make sure you're not in a development build or anything. And you'd think this would be all you need to do, right? But no, there's a little bit more. You have to go into your player settings here. Again, make sure you're on your Android tab here. You can name your company, name your product. Uh, that won't matter too much though. And then in other settings here, you want to scroll down to first your identification here. So if you're uploading uh, a second build, third build, whatever it may be, make sure you update this bundle version code. Because if it's the same as one you've already uploaded before, it won't like that and it won't work so make sure that's a new version code than anything else you've uploaded this version won't matter as much though uh, you'll want to set your target api level to at least 30. you can go a little bit higher i think but it has to be at least 30 to upload to google play and then next major step here is your configuration so by default you need will be set to mono for the scripting backend you want to switch it to il2 cpp this will build a 64-bit version of the game instead of just a 32-bit version, which uh, Google Play does need a 64-bit version since 2019, I think. These should both be good, and then you want to make sure you're switching or checking off the ARM v7 here and ARM64. This will build both the 32-bit and the 64-bit versions of the game. Some older versions of Unity might have an x86 option here too, but you want to make sure that's not checked. And then after you're done with the other settings here, you want to go down to your publishing settings and you need to set up a new key store here. So I've already got one set up, but I'll make a new one here. You would go to key store manager and then create new. Then you can choose where it'll get saved. So I'll just go anywhere and then just save it to my desktop. And then you'll need to make a password. This has to be six characters long. And then this information you can fill in too. I don't think you need all of it, but the more the better, I think. And then once it's ready, you just do add key. Once you have it ready, this is what you should see. Anytime you're gonna go to build, you'll have to put your password in. So I'll just put mine in here. And then just put in both your passwords for the project key store and the project key. And then that should be all set for the settings here. Then you can go and build. Choose what you want to call it. I'll just replace this one. And it might take a little bit longer the first time if you're building for IL2CPP and the ARM architecture for the first time. It'll take a little bit longer, but eventually it will get there. The first time took me like five minutes. I think about and if you're wondering what this error message is down here if you're seeing that that's just I tried to build it once without putting in my password because I always forget to do that for the key store so make sure you do that or it will fail like it did for me so my build finished there took about 73 seconds set so not too long it'll be a little bit longer if it's your first time like I said though so this AAB file should be ready to upload to Google Play now and that is what worked for me and then I was able to test it on my phone. I'll go over a couple of troubleshooting tips too. Uh, for one, for just any issues with Android in general with Unity, you can go to your external tools in your preferences tab here, scroll all the way down and then check all these off and then check them on again. It'll just reset all of these to make sure if something was going wrong, it'll try to fix it. Uh, it could be a good idea to close down Unity in between too, that's what I did when I was having some issues connecting to my phone through Unity. And then another thing is, depending on your Unity version, I'm using 2020.2.2 F1. Uh, with this version, the API level for Android that came with it was 29, which isn't high enough for the Google Play Store now, and it wouldn't update the API on its own. So I had to do it manually, and I will have a link to a Unity forums post that somebody solved that issue with that helped me out a lot. So if you're running into that issue, check that out. But that'll be it for this one. It'll be a short one today, but I just wanted to go over a few issues I was running into when trying to upload to the Google Play Store, even just for testing. And hopefully it will help you out. If it did, make sure you like, maybe subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions about this setup or any other tutorials you'd like to see. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.